Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Kelsey D. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you are returning, hey, what's up? You know the deal. So today I am going to be doing something I've never done before. And it's going to be a review. So I'm going to be using the Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Jar and Styler. I've seen this used by so many people with natural hair and I haven't blow dried my hair in about four, four to five years. I've had my hair blow dried before but I have not blow dried my hair physically myself in that length of time. So I hope this is actually going to be easier for me to blow dry because that whole like blow dryer and brush hole situation, I don't I don't like doing that. So on the box it says large paddle design dries and smooths hair quickly, detangling bristles help dry smooth and style hair in half the time. Lightweight ergonomic design for maximum comfort and ease for use. Multiple heat settings, which looks like high, low, cool, and complete dry and styling flexibility for all hair types, professional swivel core for tangle free and easy styling. So yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to um, first prep my hair for blow drying. I'm going to start with this back section right here. So the first thing I'm going to be using is the Alpha G Keratin and Green Tea Restructure. So I'm just going to spray it all in this section and I'm going to do it for all the other sections when I get to those sections. So next I'm going to be using a curl mousse. It's called Almond and Avocado. It's by Design Essentials Naturals. Um, this is just an experiment. I'm just trying to see something of what it does when I blow dry my hair. So just a couple of pumps of that and then working that into my hair. Maybe that's a lot. Maybe that's too much. Oh well, we'll see. We'll see how it works. And then for actual heat protection, it's the Tresemme um, heat protection. Heat protection up to five, 450 degrees. So I'm going to just spray that in this section. Ooh, that smells good. And even though I'm not going to be flat ironing my hair today, I'm going to add the Chi Deep Brilliance Reflect for shine and control, even because I'm blow drying. So I just added a dime size to that area and I'm applying it to that section. Okay, so we're ready. So I'm gonna part my hair that section in half and clip the other half out the way. And my hair is fully detangled, but I want to detangle the ends just a little bit more and also help that product move through my hair. Okay, so this is what it looks like outside the package. It has um, little holes, well not little, but medium sized holes like all around it plus the bristles. It's kind of, it's kind of big though, right? But the heat settings, off, cool, low, high as I mentioned before. Um, I think I'm going to use it on low at first and then see how that works and then switch to high it needs to be on high. So here we go. Let's try it out. So yeah, I think I'm going to switch it to high because it's taking a little while to dry like that. So before I continue, heat is only coming out the top of it. So that can also be the problem of why it's taking a little bit long to dry. I mean, it's going through my hair really nicely because I detangled it, but we'll see on high what it does.
I think I want to make like it's drying um, very slowly but I want to make that part smaller see how that does Okay, <laughs> so I think it's, that section is finally dry and it got my hair really straight. Like, do you see this? Do you see this? Oh my gosh. Like, it's really straight. Looks like I need my inch trim. But yeah, it did take a while, but it could be because that section was really thick and depending on what your hair type is it could take a while to get through and dry it but it's completely dry my roots um they feel the slightest damp a little bit like they can revert but other than that of course i'm gonna be going back through it when i get to the other section um but yeah this looks nice boy and because what you saw in the video while I was blow drying, I kept going back to the ends. Since my hair is 4C hair, um, it gets tangled easily, even though it's detangled. But pulling from the root all the way down can somewhat tangle my hair getting to the bottom. So I would pull it out and make sure the, um, the ends are still detangled, then go back because you don't want your hair falling out. Okay, so I'm going to try to fin um, finish this section and then uh, come back and see what it looks like. Okay, look at this. It is like completely dry and like super straight. Do you see this? Do you see this? Like what? Hey, boy, you can't tell me nothing. Okay, so I think I'm going to finish um, the other side off camera. Well, like the rest of my hair off camera and then come back and show you the final result. <sighs> I am finally done with my hair. And look at this. Doesn't it look nice? Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, I'm going to turn it back on high and then blow dry my hair in opposite directions and then change it on cool and blow my hair in opposite directions. So it completely, like completely dried my hair. I don't know what it is. My hair always gets puffy after I blow dry it. Even when I was, um, my hair was relaxed. It always just still got puffy. Um, let's see. Pros and cons. Um, it's pretty heavy. Well, no, like it's just 
awkward to hold. My hand kind of hurts from trying to hold it and put it in different directions. I don't like that the air only comes out the top and not the bottom. I think if it came out the bottom as well, it would go a lot faster. Um, Pro, I mean, it's pretty easy to use. Um, you only need this, no other brush, no comb or anything, just this to brush it out and dry it. And it's nice that it has the high, low, and cool setting to set. So the cool setting is to set the, um, the style and, pra and price in place and high and low for your different hair texture. If you have fine hair or thin hair, probably want to go on the low. If you have coarse, thick hair, probably on the high. So what I found to be easy for me is to go in like steady, slow motions down the hair shaft and stuff. So like start from the root and just go steady and slow down your hair. It takes longer, of course, but it gets your hair drier faster, in my opinion, because the first one I was going back here and I was just going at it, it wasn't really drying that fast. So when I got to this side and I was actually going from the root down extremely slow, not extremely, but at a steady rate, it dried it a lot faster. So. Um, all in all, I would actually recommend this because it's so simple to use and it's, I mean, it's just easy. Oh, and then one thing, I don't know, one con, another con, I don't know how I'm going to clean it because it's not like other blow dryers where you can like take the attachment off and like wash it. So I don't know, I'm, I got to figure that out. but. Other than that, this is a hit. I really enjoy this and I really, really like this blow dryer. So that's the end of the video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Please tell me what you want to see in the comment section below. If you have this blow dryer, if you think about trying this blow dryer, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know how it works for you.